Good morning, everyone. We welcome you once again to Strength for Today. Today our subject is obedient, obedience unto God, to obey, to obey God. Amen. Obedience is very um, important. See, when we are obedient, when we are obedient unto God, we are obedient unto his word. To obey God is to obey and to do what he say or instructs us to do. Amen. And and he instructs us through his word. And in Second Corinthians 10 and 5, it says, Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So what is he saying is that we cast down uh, every thoughts or reasoning, imaginations, and bring it into captivity. The, uh, these are thoughts that are in the mind, and really that's according to the scripture. That's where the stronghold is, is in our mind, is in our thinking. So we cast it down, and we bring it into obedience. Uh, those thoughts, we bring them into a, obedience, and that is unto Christ. And the way we do that is through the word of God. The way we do that is obeying and doing what God has to say. But you know, you can't obey God's word unless you know what it says. Come on now. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Today we're talking about obedience. We're talking about obeying God. But you have to know what he has to say in order to do what he say to do. And that's why the Bible also puts great emphasis for on in Romans 12 and 2 is that we have to renew our mind and not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. In Romans 6 and 16, it says, Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Now, what is he saying? If you is talking about you can be a child of God, but then if you're going to be doing what the devil say to do, uh, I mean, in yielding to sin or, or doing things that are wrong, then you are not walking in obedience unto God. You become his servant. Though you are a child of God, but you are the servant of the devil. If you obey, if you are obeying him, if you're doing what is wrong, just like it says, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness, when we obey God, we are oh, oh, those are righteous acts. Amen. So obedience is very, very important for you and I to walk in obedience unto God. In Hebrews uh, 5 and 8, it says, Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. It's talking about Jesus. Remember there in the garden how Jesus, he suffered. It talks about it in Hebrews uh, there in verse 5 and 5 through 8. It speaks of it, the things that he endured. And and but he was obedient unto God, and we see that in Philippians two and eight it says, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. He was found. He humbled himself. He became a man, fashioned as a man in the in appearance as a human being. He was both human and divine. But in this, though he was the son of God, yet he learned obedience in the things he saw. And then he said he humbled himself. He Jesus humbled himself and became obedient even, even unto death, the death of the cross. And you think about it. If Jesus had to humble himself, well, what about you and I? What about you and I? I, I say it this way, humility is the way up. Humbleness is the way up. The Bible says to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that in due time he may exalt you in due time. Amen. So to obey 
And to obey is to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. That's to humble yourself unto what God is saying to do. That's humbling yourself unto God's word. Now, who's going to do it? We are. Each one is responsible for their own life. Amen. We have that responsibility. In Exodus 24 and 7, it says, And he took the book of the covenant and read it in the audience of the people. And they said, All that the Lord has said will we do and be obedient. Amen. So, so we, it's, again, it's talking about uh, doing what God said to do. It say do, and it's talking about, do, well, we know what God says to do. How do we know that? It's what through the word of God. This is where we receive insight is through God's word. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Over in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verse 23, Jesus answered and said unto them, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Again, it's talking about obeying him. If you say you love the Lord, then you're going to do what he say do. And it's real simple. If you say you love him and do not do what he say to do, well, it speaks of our love for him. Come on now. I mean, that's what he said. If you love me, you're going to do what I say do. If you love me, you're going to keep my words. You know, some people, you can see it. Some people, they live like they love the Lord more so than others. Well, why? Because they're walking in his way. They're walking in the light of God's word. Now, see, that's what God expects for you and I. He expects that of all of us, to walk in the light of his word. Amen. To obey, to do what he said to do. Here's a very familiar verse of scripture. Over in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1, it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long on the earth. Now, who, what is he saying? Well, he's saying to obey your parents. Obedience is the way. Hallelujah. Well, somebody said, well, I'm not, I'm not a child any longer. Where you once was a child, and it's still a, a, a childlike faith. Amen. We still should honor our parents. There, ne there, there's never come a day when you stop honoring your mom and your dad. Amen. It's res it's respect. It's res not only for your mom and your dad, but it's respect for others. This is all about. And then it notice what he said that that may live long. Up on the earth, I, I say this jokingly: is that I believe I'm going. I am going to live a long time. Because when coming up, I, I am, I'm not. I'm not bragging on myself. I'm just telling you a fact: is that I believe that I honored my mom and dad, and I obeyed them. I did what they said to do. Amen. And so that's very important. It's key. Now, in, in, in Isaiah verse 1 and 19, it says, If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Hallelujah. Well, what is he talking about? If you be willing and obedient. You know, some people, they will obey, but they're not willing to do it. They will just go ahead and do it, but I sure don't want to do it. But I'm going to do it because I have to do it. No, no, he said be willing and obedient. Now, what is he talking about? What he's talking about, willing and obedient unto him, is doing the will of God. And in doing so, in doing so, you eat the good of the land. Well, what is he talking about? He's talking about that you be blessed. The Bible said we'll be blessed going in and blessed coming out. The blessings of the Lord. I believe, I like to put it this way, the blessings of the Lord, they out looking for me. They, they, are, they will hunt me down. Glory be to God, because I'm blessed. See, willing and obedient. Now, now somebody said, well, I did it, but I really wasn't willing to do it. You know, that's a quick adjustment that you can make. You can make that in your heart. I mean, you can adjust, make some adjustment. There are many people who give in their offering, but really they, they give 
but they're not willing to do it. They just give because, you know, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what they ask for an offering, so I just give it. No, we have to give it from our heart. We need to be willing to do that. Now, somebody may say, well, I, you know, I want to, but I don't know. Well, all you have to do is purpose in your heart. You just speak it and say, God, I do this out of a willing heart. In spite of what your head may say, you just say it. Be willing and obedient, and ye shall eat the good of the land. See, that's God's will for you and I, that we, be, we are prosperous and that we are eat the best that our, our, our life will live, our life in fullness and not scratching and just barely getting along. It is God's will for you and I to be the head and not the tail. Glory to God.